in the NFL draft. The th hey, make us lunch. We're hungry. Yo, everybody, how you doing? King Ding Bat here. I can't find my glasses. They're like with Nelson Aguilar. I don't know where they are. But looking at it, I kind of look like, kind of look like Elton John. I can't sing like him. I guess that's why they call me King Ding Bad. Time on my hands, give me time spent with you. Laughing like a moron, playing like an idiot, rolling like thunder under the Ding Bad covers. I guess that's why they call me King Ding Bad. Okay, I'm sorry. I like to get a little goofy sometimes. What can I say? I'm a dingbat, right? I'm a dingbat. But what I want to get into is my first segment on fantasy football. I want to do a weekly segment on fantasy football talking about the guys, my plays of the week, and who I like. So this is going to be an intro to that segment that will be weekly. Probably every Friday I'll come out with it. I like to play fantasy football. I love fantasy football, whether it's FanDuel, DraftKings, personal leagues, all that kind of stuff. My primary focus is FanDuels and DraftKings. That's where I've been playing a lot. And in FanDuel, over the last few years, I've won money every year. I've come out positive. And so much so where I've stopped betting regular games and point spreads and parlays because I rather focus on FanDuel. DraftKings, DraftKings I haven't had great success with not until recently and that's when I want to start opening up my fantasy football segment about DraftKings and my strategy for DraftKings that I recently changed that since I have changed I've been winning money in that as well I started with thirty dollars I'm at ninety seven dollars right now that's not a lot of money but I always try to come out positive, so it gives me more chances at the big tournaments and the big play. So that's been very good. Now, in DraftKings, I've struggled for a few years. I Just for whatever reason, I don't win DraftKings. FanDuel, I do great. DraftKings, I don't. And I like, draft, I like DraftKings scoring better. They do point per reception. They do flex position, and I like that a lot. So all those things, you know, I, you would think I would do good at DraftKings, but I don't. I haven't until recently. And what happened is I have a person who I get advice from, somebody I trust very much when it comes to fantasy sports. This person runs their own like site, this, their own fantasy site. It's called MyDynastyLeague.com. And basically, people come and they create web, their, you know, create their fantasy leagues and that kind of thing. And there's like five different types of leagues, you know, dynasty leagues, regular leagues, whatever. And this person runs that, and that's my brother. My brother does this. He's really good at fantasy sports. So I always get advice from him, and I'm like, dude, I can't win. I can't win DraftKings to save my life. And he said, this is what you have to do. So for those of you struggling in DraftKings on this first segment of fantasy football. I want to help you out and hopefully maybe something that you can look at if it hasn't worked for you or if you know DraftKings hasn't worked for you so far maybe this will help if you haven't tried it um, and now what we're talking let's first say we're talking about multi-game tournament play I'm not talking about cash play not that this can't help you in cash play but the strategy is different in tournament play and cash play so those are two different things this is for tournament play what I've done and what my brother told me to do is basically go to a three running back lineup. Always put three running backs in your lineup on DraftKings. And a lot of people don't do that. I wasn't doing that, but that's what they said. So like for the instance, this week I'll put Jay Ajay in because I think he's going to have a huge week. Uh, Ty Montgomery, there'll be two running backs. And then I'll add a third running back on the flex position. So, like, I kind of think Christian McCaffrey's going to have a big week with Olsen out. 
I think he's going to get a lot of catches out of the backfield. So I may have him as a third running back. I think Melvin Gordon's going to have a big week. You know why I think Melvin Gordon's going to have a big I think Kansas City's going to have a letdown. I think he's going to get a lot of touches. I think he's even going to get some receptions. And I think Melvin Gordon's going to have a week. So I'll have three running backs. And that will basically be my foundation of my lineup. And then I'll plug in my quarterbacks, my wide receivers, and that kind of thing. Now, I'll stack my quarterback with a wide receiver or a tight end or even a running back. I always stack my quarterback. I do that in FanDuel. I do that in DraftKings. I think you have to do that in, you know, multi-tournament games. I just think you have to because you need the points. So, like, for instance, I think I think Carson Wentz is a good sleeper this year, this week in fantasy. So I'll stack him with Ertz. I think the Giants have like the 30th rank defense or something like that. So it's a great matchup for Wentz. But I like him with Ertz. I'll stack them. You know, you might want to stack. I think Cousins is a good play. You might want to stack Cousins and Reed if Reed plays. Um, I won't use Aaron Rodgers because of his price. But if I did, I would make sure I have Devontae Adams. And I'll probably play Adams anyways because you have Jordy Nelson hurt. You have Cobb hurt, and I think he's primed for a big day. But Stafford's cheap. I think even Derek Carr is cheap. Cousins, I mean, you can always do it. But the foundation of that lineup and every lineup in DraftKings will always be three running backs. So try that if you have struggled with DraftKings and see if that helps. Let me know. I'm curious to hear what you have to say. And this is the first fantasy football segment I'm doing. There will be one each week, once a week, at the end of the week. Um, This week's focus is DraftKings and going to a three running back lineup in tournament play. So there's been also a lot of you been asking me, when am I going to do more live streams? I haven't been doing enough live streams. I've only been doing them after the game and that kind of thing. It's been a hectic few weeks with the kids starting school and that kind of thing. I'm hoping to do one tonight, but it just depends what time I get home. I may get home late. I may get home late in the night when the game's over. I just don't know. If I can do one tonight, I definitely will. I know a lot of you guys have been asking, and I appreciate that. If I can't, I'll put a video out just as a, you know, as a, hey, I couldn't do it, but here's a video of something I had to say or was going to talk about during the live stream. So I'll try, definitely try. As next week comes, it should be easier. Things should be starting to lighten up. And we'll definitely add that back in because I know a lot of you guys have been asking me that. And I appreciate that. I definitely do. And I hope that this segment, I hope people will like it. I hope those who play fantasy will like it. And I will, you know, any questions or anything you want me to cover in fantasy, Going forward, let me know, and we can definitely start doing that. With that said, I hope everybody has a good day. Take care. Talk to you later, and don't be a dingbat.